thank you, Professor Morrison, for an enlightening talk about uh, what we can learn about the resource curse and foreign aid. I have a few questions for you. Uh, the first one being, would you say that, generally speaking, natural resources revenues lead to po poor governance, or that poor governance leads to mismanagement of natural resource revenues? Empirical evidence shows that most natural resource-rich countries uh, tend to have poor economic and political track records. Yeah, so I think uh, scholarship on this issue has actually evolved over the last 30 years. I think when we first started studying natural resources, the scholarship basically was indicating that, uh, as you say, that it tended to lead towards more poor economic outcomes and poor political outcomes. And I think what we've seen over the last uh, 10 years or so is a move in the literature towards uh, thinking that the effects of these resources are much more conditional on actually the kinds of institutional environments into which they flow. So if you have a good institutional environment in place, there's no reason to actually uh, be too concerned about the way, about the effects these revenues are likely to have. Uh, and they may actually even have positive impacts economically and politically. Um, but if you have sort of a poor institutional environment in place, uh, then uh, it's not that we should be worried about the effects of these resources on institutions, uh, but they may have very poor economic uh, and political effects. Um, you've spoken about the similarities between foreign aid and the natural resource curse. Uh, what would the main difference be? Well, I think the, the main difference uh, would be that aid is actually alloc is, uh, is obviously allocated by donors sort of rich countries. And so you might actually think that it could work differently because donors have the ability to put different conditions on the way, uh, you know, I'll give you this if you make this policy change. And obviously natural resource revenues in general are not likely to work like that. Um, so they could work differently. Uh, I think actually if you look at the literature on foreign aid, what you find is that these conditions don't actually tend to be very effective. And so whereas in theory they could work differently, in practice uh, foreign aid and natural resources often don't because they're just sort of large revenues that go into a government. Um, you mentioned that uh, one solution to make aid more effective would be to be more selective uh, when you give it, uh, to whom you give aid to. Uh, however, sometimes the country that most needs aid is the one that least does what you want it to do in terms of governance or political institutions, corruption. Would this be a catch-22? And are you saying that uh, in such a case, no aid should be given at all? So I think that <clears throat> donor countries have to make this decision on their own, um, sort of cognizant of the lessons from the literature. And the lessons from the literature are that, you know, if there is sort of a poor policy environment in place, no matter what the need is, uh, you know, aid that goes to this country is unlikely to have sort of large developmental impacts, okay? So, you know, in cases of emergencies, you know, uh, catastrophic relief, famine, and these sorts of things, you know, we're willing, you may be willing to sort of put aside these sort of long-term developmental impacts. Um, but my perspective on this is that there's actually so much need around the world uh, that with limited aid budgets, what we should be most concerned about is that that aid is well used. Um, and unfortunately, uh, it may be that uh, you know, some countries with a lot of need uh, shouldn't be receiving a lot of aid because unfortunately it will be wasted, right? So it's not that we in any way don't care about those people. It's just that there may not be anything the international community can do uh, in the short term to help those people, uh, which is uh, really awful to think about, uh, but is uh, something to consider when you're thinking about aid allocation.